Put fiberboard down to be the floor. Glue on the printed floor. Now let's work on decorative inserts. Cover them with laminate too. It's an unusual design for walls. One of the rooms will have tiles. Put the piece together. There's a musical mechanism behind one of the walls. Glue on veneer pieces around a counter. It will be a kitchen. Add handles and a stove panel. Attach a faucet and knobs to it. How about a tasty dish? We're already making ramen in this pot. There are slices of kiwi on the board. Everyone loves fresh fruit. Mm. Make boxes with treats. Mmm, fruit for dessert. Yummy. Make cupboards. Snowy is a good hostess, and now she has enough space to hold her cooking equipment. Make a white fridge out of thick cardboard with a printed panel. Hang a hood above the stove. What are we gonna make out of these? Then add a tabletop. Don't forget about setting the table. Twist paper strips to make straws and fill them with printed cocoa. Flowers made the room even cozier. Cover a piece of a veneer sheet with fabric. We'll do the same thing with a half circle. Add legs. A super comfortable set of kitchen chairs perfectly matches the rest of the room. Make stairs too. Cover the whole thing. And here is one more with three steps. Install the steps. Put the smaller ones a little higher. Make the second level. A tiny lamp will be perfect for our kitchen. Cover a veneer square with fabric. Make one more. Do the same thing again. A decorative corner is also covered with synthetic stuffing and fabric. Make pieces. A comfy couch. Add metal legs. Roll artificial fur. Now we have fluffy pillows. We managed to create an absolutely magical design. Complete the oval piece with four skewers. Put a tabletop made out of clear plastic on the frame. A small coffee table is a great piece of furniture. And here's some fresh fruit. Help yourself. Twist a printed strip to make a closed cylinder. Make a frame for the lamp. Attach a LED light and pull the wires through. It's all coming together! 
build panoramic windows. There are a couple of shelves on the side. It's always nice to have lots of plants in your home. And there will be enough light for them to be near the windows. Put a small flower pot on the shelf. Make a stand for a hanging chair. Hang an egg-shaped chair on a hook. Make a coffee table with three legs. Now we need a light. Round bulb will be lighting the kitchen. This is a great zone to get your thoughts in order by writing in your diary. Let's work on the second room. Get the wires ready. Twist a wire to make a hook. We made an elegant wall lamp. Make a hanging shelf. Hang curtains on the top. Make a bathtub out of two halves. Cover the bathtub with bricks on the side. Install a tiny faucet. The bathtub is filled with flower petals. It looks so relaxing. Install a toilet in the corner. Put some skincare stuff on the shelf. Make a tiny sink out of a few white pieces. There is a gold faucet on the sink. Install a lamp nearby. The bath zone is separated with a wall. Start sticking the wallpaper on. Now let's make a wardrobe out of cardboard details. Attach a veneer wall. We just need to cover it with a panel with rounded sides and add a couple of side shelves. Now what are these pieces going to turn into? So cute! One, two, three. Oh, this is the perfect place to have sweet dreams. We made a very comfy sleeping place. Make a small nightstand. Add four white legs. The nightstand is ready. We made a small cute lamp with a white lampshade. There is a soft layer on wooden circles. This is a stool. It will serve as a small coffee table. The house looks great. Everything looks so cute and every detail is thought through. We'll be waiting for the owner to see if she likes the new house. Wow! It's so beautiful here. What a comfy place for reading! Now let's go to the bathroom. Wow, I can take a bubble bath here! Cool! The clean and happy chinchilla went to bed. Sweet dreams, Lalaloo Craft! Oh, the owner is already asleep. I guess I'll come back next time.